The Lucy Show. Starring Lucille Ball. Co-starring Gail Gordon. Not yet. I'm waiting for some friends. Okay. Oh, Daddy. Hi, Lucy. Where's Mary Jane? Oh, she couldn't make it. Things are very hectic at the studio. Oh, you know, we've been very busy at the bank. Yeah. What'll it be, girl? Oh, what do you have, Daddy? Oh, gee, I don't know. I'm on a diet. Me too. <laughs> Lucy, you don't have to lose weight. I'm not dieting to lose weight. I'm dieting to save money. <laughs> I thought you were going to ask Mr. Mooney for a $5 raise. I did ask him, but I didn't get it. You know that he turned me down for a measly $5 raise, but it's all right for him to squander $75 on film for his camera. <laughs> Gee, this is fascinating. <laughs> oh, <would> somebody <laughs> like to order something? <laughs> Well, I have a cup of tea. And? That's it. And I'll have a bowl of hot water. <laughs> a bowl of hot water? Did you come here to eat or take a bath? <laughs> and Dottie, uh, you'd like some extra lemon with your tea, wouldn't you? Oh, uh, some extra lemon with my tea. <laughs> One tea, extra lemon, a bowl of hot water. <laughs> Anything else? Diamond Jane Brady? <laughs> no, that'll be all. Boy, I don't like her attitude. If she keeps that up, I'm not coming in here to eat anymore. <laughs> what are those? What do you got there? Pictures of entries in the contest. What contest? The Robert Goulet Lookalike Contest. Robert Goulet Lookalike Contest? Yeah, the studio's having a contest to promote his new picture, The Long Ride of Marshall Burke. And they're giving $5,000 to the man who looks most like Robert Goulet. Oh, boy, $5,000. Here we are. Tea, extra lemon. A bowl of hot water. <laughs> Eat hearty. Oh, she's too much, isn't she? Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> Daddy, I'm sorry. Forgive me. I forget to cover it. <laughs> there we are. Congratulations. You're winning the war on poverty. <laughs> well, we all have to do our bit. Mm. Listen, Dottie. Hmm? Those look-alike contests, are they ever on the level? Of course. What makes you think they're not? Well... I once entered an Elizabeth Taylor look-alike contest, and I never even heard from them. You expected to win an Elizabeth Taylor look-alike contest? Oh, of course not. I'm too tall. <laughs> Mrs. Carmichael, you take longer to eat lunch than Henry VIII. Uh, I, I had to do a little shopping please, and I... Please, please, no excuses. Will you get to work? We have a lot to do. Yes, please, sir. Yes. please. Oh. <laughs> Ma'am, I wonder if you can help me. 
Oh, I certainly hope so. I'd, uh, I'd like to apply for a loan. My name is Chuck Willis, and... Uh... Oh! Well, I, I thought you were... Your name is Chuck Willis? Something wrong with that name? Oh, no, sir. No, sir, I love it. I love it. Uh, you want to apply for a loan? Well, right over here. See this gentleman right here. Mr. Mooney, mm -hmm. Mr. Mooney, uh, this gentleman would like to apply for a loan. This is Mr. Willis. Mr. Willis? Oh, yeah. I have a small uh, trucking business. Very small, just got one truck, which needs some work. I uh, take about 200 bucks to fix it up, and I'd like to borrow the money. Well, do you have any collateral, Mr. Willis? Well, only my truck. Uh huh? Here's the registration slip. Uh-huh, that. Mr. Willis, this truck is 21 years old. <laughs> well, that's why it needs fixing. <laughs> I'm very sorry, Mr. Willis. I'm sorry. Mr. Willis. Mr. Willis, do you really need money? Oh, no, no, no. I'm really an eccentric millionaire. Of course I need money. <laughs> well, Gotta get that truck fixed. Yeah, I know. Well, I know how you can get a brand new truck just by having your picture taken. My picture taken? Yeah, and you'll get $5,000, which you will split with me because I will arrange everything. <laughs> you know, you're a little nuts. <laughs> Well, now, that may be, but you know something? You look just like Robert Goulet. Who? <laughs> Robert Goulet. I never heard of him. Well, anyway, you look like him. The Mammoth Studios giving $5,000 to the man who looks the most like him. Now, what have you got to lose? My mind. Now, listen. Now, listen to me. You just be at this address tonight. I'll take your picture and your troubles will be over. You just look at the birdie and pow, instant money. You know something? What? We don't need no birdie. You'll do. <laughs> now, what do you mean by that? You're a cuckoo. Will you stop it? I I'm just trying to help you. Okay, okay. Like you say, what I got to lose, right? Good. Good. Don't, don't, don't lose the address. No, no. And be there at 8 o'clock, okay? Oh, I'll be there. All right. You won't regret it. No, no, no. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Mooney, Mr. Mooney, I have wonderful news. Good. When are you quitting? <laughs> I'm not quitting. Mammoth Studio is running a Robert Goulet look-alike contest. Robert Goo who? <laughs> Robert Goulet. He's a big star, and, and I have the winner of that look-alike contest. Well, bully, I hope you'll both be very happy. <laughs> Mr. Mooney, that man, that Mr. Willis that was just in here, he's a cinch to win the contest. He'll get first prize, and all you have to do is take his picture. Who takes what? Well, I can't afford a professional photographer, and even if I could, he wouldn't be as good as you are. Why, why you just take wonderful, wonderful pictures. This picture of Mrs. Mooney is just fantastic. That is a picture of the Grand Canyon. <laughs> you know, it does look like a rumor with that mouth open. Well, well, anyway, it's a marvelous picture. Why, it's like a, a, a Da Vinci. Da Vinci was a painter. Oh. And I am a banker, and I have work to do. And so do you. Will you please get at it? Now, go, 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 go! Well, there goes all that money. Hold it! Oh, what money? Well, that's what I'm trying to tell you. The winner of the contest gets $5,000. And Mr. Willis is giving me half for arranging everything. Now, do you realize what my half comes to? Certainly. $1,250. $1,250? Half of 5,000 is 2,500. Yes, and half of your 2,500 is my 1,250. You're joking! Then why aren't you laughing? <laughs> well, why should you get half of my half? I'll give you 10%. Mrs. Carmichael, you do not bargain with Leonardo da Vinci. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
This junk happens to be some of the most expensive photographic equipment money can buy. Okay. Uh, is Willis here yet? Yes, he's inside getting into his costume. Costume? Yeah, I borrowed a Western outfit for him. Just to take a picture? Yes, now all the other contestants are sending in plain headshots, you know. But Robert Goulet is playing a marshal in the picture, so we photograph Chuck as a Western marshal. Now that is showmanship. I must admit, Mrs. Carmichael, you are thinking. Thank you. Which is more than you do in the bank. <laughs> Why do you always have to add well, that? That's true. Good it's heavens. Now, Look at this. Mm, what? Who's that? It's Robert Goulet. Oh. And he's in his Western outfit for the picture, see? Now, when I get through with Chuck, he's going to look exactly like that. Hmm. I have all the makeup right here. Mm -hmm. See? Grease paint, rouge, eyeshadow, eyebrow, pencil, mascara, everything. Wouldn't plastic <laughs> surgery be simple? <laughs> Give me the name of your tailor. Gee, it does look a little snug. I got a tattoo that's looser. <laughs> well, I, I, I can't understand it. I got a size 38. I'm a size 42. Oh, well, I'm sorry. Sit down, Chuck. Yeah. <laughs> sit in these pants? You gotta be kidding me. Well, come on, now. You gotta sit down while I put the makeup yeah. on you. Makeup? Oh, no, you're not putting any of that guck on me. No, I have to. I have to make you up to look like Robert Goulet in the picture. Now, if you want to win the $5,000, sit down. <laughs> well, okay, but I never figured I'd have to put on makeup to get my truck fixed. <laughs> some real bushy eyebrows, because Mr. Goulet is wearing very bushy eyebrows in this picture, and all Western marshals, you know, always have those big bushy eyebrows. <laughs> is it always this painful? No, no. No still. Uh. Yeah. Now, now I'm going to put some eyeshadow up here, because I want you to look, close your eyes. And relax your face. And I want you to look real weather -beaten. I could have done this. <laughs> What's that? Haven't you ever seen a horse before? <laughs> It's a horse? <laughs> well, now, what did you expect for three dollars, man of war? <laughs> Come on, Jack! What's taking him so long? You sure you got the right flash ball? Well, of course. Come on, Chuck, hurry up! Hurrying in this outfit would be suicide. <laughs> You gotta have a horse. Now, come on, leap into the saddle. Not with these pants on. Come on now, Chuck. We gotta have you up there so we can take the picture. Come on. Just stand there. Come on, help him up. Oh, uh, all right. Uh, well, now, let's see. <coughs> you, uh, grab my leg, grab my leg. Your leg. All righty. Leg up. Yeah. Here we go. Are you ready? Up all and right. over. Oh, 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 oh. 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 Forget it. 
told you it's impossible. Now, Chuck, nothing is impossible. Now, you got to get up there so we can take the picture. Yeah. Now, come on. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, if I... Well, maybe... No, do the same uh, no, way. No, uh, come here. No, I bet they didn't have this much trouble making Gone with the Wind. <laughs> How could anything stuffed with hay be this hard? <laughs> all right, Mr. Moody, are you ready? Come on. Oh, I'm ready. I you was sure all set. You sure you got the right the flash bulb room? and everything? Yeah, now, now, Chuck, Chuck, now. I want you to sit up straight and look off into the sunset. <laughs> oh, Chuck, the sunset's over there. Don't look like an Indian. Put your head back there. Look off there and get, get that special look that the that Western Martians have. You know? All right, all right now, Chuck, smile. Smile about what? <laughs> a good one. That okay. was a beauty. Are you sure? Yes, now? yes, I had everything. Yes, it was all, all right, set. All right, all right. Now you can get down, Chuck. Yeah, that's what you think. <laughs> Help him down. Give me the camera. Oh, uh, be careful. I will. Be careful. I will. Be careful. Be careful. Uh, oh, come on. Okay, there we go. <laughs> oh, now, you sure you got a good one, Mr. Mooney? Oh, it was perfect, perfect. Oh, I want to tell you, Chuck, that's $5,000 in the bag. Isn't that great? You'll be able to get rid of your old broken-down truck. Well, right now, that old broken-down truck is in better shape than I am. Ah, <laughs> sure hope we won. Well, if I do say so myself, that was one of the best pictures I've ever taken. Yeah? Yeah. I hope you had the right lens for tight pants. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, the contest is over at 6 o'clock today, and Dorothy promised to come right over here and tell us who won. Well, whatever happens, I sure appreciate all the trouble you went to for me. Well, it was a pleasure, Chuck. Oh, I hope that's Dorothy. $5,000. Oh. Hi, Dottie. Hi, Lucy. Oh, boy, have we been waiting for you. Yeah, well, I got here as soon as I could. Hello, Mr. Mooney. Hello. Mr. Goulet, what are you doing here? Ah, uh -huh. hi. you see, what did I tell you? That is not Mr. Goulet. It isn't? No, it isn't. Then who is it? Oh, I think you probably know his name. How would I know his name? Well, now, who won the contest? Arthur Finster. <laughs> Arthur Finster? Arthur Finster? <laughs> Who's Arthur Finster? Well, he won first prize. Melvin Koppel was second and Irving Schwartz third. Oh, but it's too bad he didn't enter the contest. Well, I'm sure Mr. Goulet would have picked him as the winner. But he did enter. He did? Yes, he did. I told you those contests were fake. You know, Chuck, tomorrow we're going over there and see that Mr. Robert Goulet. What for? Because I'm not going to let him get away with this. I let Elizabeth Taylor get away with it, but never again. <laughs> How did Elizabeth Taylor get into that? Yeah, well. <laughs> There's nothing wrong in being sentimental If the one you love is Strong and gentle. <laughs> Put pride aside and tell me that you love me. And maybe a tear will show that I love you. I'm glad you, you really like it. You really wrote it yourself, Mr. Goulet? Yes, I wrote it myself. Wonderful. Thank you. Oh, excuse me. Mr. Goulet's office. Oh, okay. They want you on the set in 30 minutes. Okay. I'll go in and change. Okay. Mr. Goulet? The photo lab sent this over. Thank you. Oh, yeah, if 
things get really grim around here, I can always get a good laugh from this. Can you imagine some nut sending this into the contest? You know, it does look a little like you. Oh, I wish you hadn't said that. <laughs> that's the worst thing that's been said about me since I forgot the words of the Star Spangled Banner. <laughs> we had that contest, everybody looks like you. Don't forget I had to look at thousands of goulets. I had to look at tall goulets, short goulets, fat goulets, thin goulets, brunette goulets, blonde goulets, bald goulets, French goulets, Italian goulets, German goulets, Hungarian goulets, I would like to see Mr. Goulet, please. So would I. <laughs> so would I. Yes, Miss Hill? Is that you, Mr. Goulet? Well, now, of course it's me. Who are you expecting, Arthur Finster? Aha! Uh -huh. uh -huh. So they know each other, then it was fixed. Whoever you are, you better come out here. Now, what's going on, Miss Hurlow? That is what I would like to know, Mr. Goulet. And who are you? Never mind who I am. Come with me. Come, come. Uh -oh. What have you got to say about him? I must be hitting too many high notes. <laughs> Mr. Goulet? I wouldn't bet on it. Chuck. Yeah? Come on in here. Now, we're going into Mr. Goulet's office, and we're going to find out about this. Now, go on. Get in there. Don't leave me! <laughs> Chuck. Oh, no. What happened? What happened? It's wonderful. What? What's wonderful? Mr. Goulet just hired me as his double. What? <laughs> and I'm getting a salary I never heard of in my whole life. Hey, you know, that Goulet's sure a nice guy. He's a lousy actor, but a nice guy. <laughs> You'll like him. I like him. Oh, yeah, he wants to have you out for lunch tomorrow to thank you for getting us together. Me? Lunch with Mr. Goulet? Yeah. When? Tomorrow. 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 How about that? <laughs> I'm in show business. Oh, oh, gee, did you hear that? I'm going to have lunch with Robert Goulet. Nice. Oh, oh, my hair. I, I got to do my hair. And what will I wear? Where will we go? Uh, well, well, what do we have? Champagne, I bet, huh? Champagne and caviar. Champagne. <laughs> Mr. Goulet? Chuck? No, I'm off a Finster. <laughs> the Lucy Show.
The Lucy Show. Starring Lucille Ball. Co-starring Gail Gordon. Not yet. I'm waiting for some friends. Okay. Oh, Daddy. Hi, Lucy. Where's Mary Jane? Oh, she couldn't make it. Things are very hectic at the studio. Oh, you know, we've been very busy at the bank. Yeah. What'll it be, girl? Oh, what do you have, Daddy? Oh, gee, I don't know. I'm on a diet. Me too. <laughs> Lucy, you don't have to lose weight. I'm not dieting to lose weight. I'm dieting to save money. <laughs> I thought you were going to ask Mr. Mooney for a $5 raise. I did ask him, but I didn't get it. You know that he turned me down for a measly $5 raise, but it's all right for him to squander $75 on film for his camera. <laughs> Gee, this is fascinating. <laughs> oh, would somebody like to order something? <laughs> Well, I have a cup of tea. And? That's it. And I'll have a bowl of hot water. <laughs> a bowl of hot water? Did you come here to eat or take a bath? <laughs> and Dottie, uh, you'd like some extra lemon with your tea, wouldn't you? Oh, uh, some extra lemon with my tea. <laughs> One tea, extra lemon, a bowl of hot water. <laughs> Anything else? Diamond Jane Brady? <laughs> no, that'll be all. Boy, I don't like her attitude. If she keeps that up, I'm not coming in here to eat anymore. <laughs>